Hello everyone, Chris here and welcome to another episode of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Today we are going to continue exploring the science lab, but before we start I am getting tired so I will just go back to my car, bandage my wounds and sleep for a bit. Nice, we regenerated most of our health. While we are here let's also take the chuck hammer. We won't be needing it for now, let's just leave it here and start exploring. We have a bunch of skitter bots. Nice, we got marksmanship to level 4. Wait, what the hell? Where did you come from? Oh, you? We might have a portal somewhere around here. Well, uh, he's dead. Oh, nice, we found alpha book. Wow. Okay, we pretty much can start entering into the endgame. I hear mechanical wiring. What the hell? Okay, let's close this. Mark it on the map. I don't want to run into this guy by accident. The only thing I am now missing from making mutagens is pretty much the actional destination apparatus. Other than that, we have pretty much everything, well, except alpha samples. Another blank body. Okay, the portal must be somewhere in here, we have to be careful. Antiseptic powder. Interesting. Okay, we have some gas. Let's take off the helmet and equip gas mask. Ooh, we have final room. Okay, that's really nice. And this thick foul fog means that we will have to deal with the hounds of Tindalos. We have to be really careful. Oh, what the hell? What is this? A star vampire. Okay, I don't want to have to do anything with this guy. We also have a flaming guy. Those guys give you a nasty debuff if you stay too long in their field of view. What do you have here? Ten of solid hydrogen and a bunch of documents. Slime sample and T-substrate sample. What the hell is that? I don't know, but let's take it. And science ID card. How about here? Nothing. Blank body. And what's that? The Nuka leaf. A giant grotesque center-like beast. Okay. Those are probably new monsters added in the experimental version of the game. Let's for now just try to... Okay, I see the hound right here. And we have our prize, the face immersion suit and 5 point anchor. The anchor is fine, but the main prize is the suit. But now, how should we get to this? If you don't know about the hounds, they pretty much multiply a lot if you step into this big foul fog. And some of them are already in here. We also have a bunch of nether monsters right here. Let's try approaching it from this side. Ooh, we have Nuka Leaf right here. We need to run. Uh, doesn't look like it's chasing us. What the hell? How did you come from? Where did you come from? Um, okay, run. Close this, close this. Okay, <laughs> I don't want to stay there any longer. Hmm, but how should we get to our suit? Suit is right here. Let's try approaching from this side. Damn it, there is a wall right here. In other words, we can only approach it from this side or here. And both of the ways are pretty horrible. Here we have a bunch of strange monsters that I really don't know how much dangerous they are. Especially this new Caliph and this star vampire. And on top of that we have Hounds of Tindalos right here. I think we might try to drill a hole with Jackhammer through here. Quickly grab it and escape. That can be an option. Okay, we have it. Let's retreat for a moment. Let's dump out our jackhammer. We won't be needing this anymore. And we have a hound of Tindalos behind my back, damn it. We need to run. 
Well, it was worth a try, but I want to try shooting the hound. How resilient are they? Oh no. No, 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 I won't be going there anymore. This is way too messed up. In fact, let's close those doors. We don't want this hound going up here and messing up this whole floor. Let's try entering through other direction. Maybe the hounds will, I don't know, leave us alone. Yeah, we won't stand a chance. They are way too dangerous. But wait, they are pretty beat up and they are much slower than me. What if I will just leave this here? Okay, he split. Let's run. They keep multiplying, damn it. Ooh, what the hell. Close this and run. We don't want anything to do with the hounds, no thank you. Well, I lured them into the broken generator room. I don't know if the hounds are resilient towards the electricity. So maybe we will get lucky. I don't see them here for now. Do we have other way to get down? Yes, we do. Right here. Oh, we have nether monsters right here. Yeah, I will pass on that. Damn it, I wanted that suit. How does it look like here? We have a bunch of gas. Kintalos gas. Our only grace is that the hounds are pretty slow, so that's something. What will happen if I just step in the gas? Will they keep spawning? I don't see it. Yeah, we should be fine. Damn it, I don't have acetylene fuel. God damn it. Yeah, the gas is spreading. We have to act fast. Cut through. Okay, uh, grab a mace. Smash this. Grab a gun, place the plank, and we have it! Nice! Run! We did it! Nice! We have to take off our shoes and take off the riot armor suit. Okay, we can equip it. The protection values are pretty much the same as the riot suit. A little bit better, but the coverage is 100% and it's pretty much on your whole body. So yeah, this is really great. This tool has been modified to use a universal power supply. Okay, so UPS it is. This item is meant to be toggled during combat. This clothing completely protects you from radiation. You won't have to worry about this anymore. We'll protect us and withstand a lot of abuse. Nice. I believe we have a UPS somewhere in the car, so let's grab it. Yeah, but we don't have battery for the UPS. UPS only takes heavy batteries. That's not a problem. You can find heavy batteries pretty much all over the science lab. We won't be needing our gas mask anymore because this thing pretty much acts as a gas mask. You can just walk through smoke. That's nice. And we have our battery. Nice. Let's activate the UPS. Wait a moment. Okay, it's not charging for some reason. Maybe I have to activate it too. Oh, we have night vision. Nice. Let's wait for a moment. It's still not charging. I don't know why. The power on the UPS is going down, but the suit is not charging. I don't understand. Is it a bug? Or do I need advanced UPS? I don't know. Strange. What about protection values when it's switched on? Okay, only thing that changed is this environmental factor. We have 80 environmental protection. Any environmental damage is negated. That's nice. So yeah, guys, we pretty much found the Half-Life suit. That's nice. I want to check out if the electricity keeps damaging me. Yeah, what the hell. Okay, maybe I have to activate it. Yeah, if I activate it, the electricity pretty much doesn't do anything to me. Oh, we gained rifle skill 4. Nice. Now we should be more proficient with rifles. Oh, we have final room right here with medical mutagenic primer. Wow. Uh, we have, instead of the Tylons, we have those guys, which is not that good. How many grenades do we have? One grenade, damn it. I need a lot more than that to clear this room. Let's just mark it on the map for now. Official Taekwondo training manual. Nice, another martial arts manual. Bunch of caseless ammo, of course, I will take it. 
Essence of Ninjutsu. Another martial arts book, nice. And what do we have here? Okay, that's messed up. A M200 to A1. This guy has a rocket launcher. We have to be really careful about this guy. Okay, grab me a grenade. Let's wait for him to come closer. Activate it. Pick here and throw it. Run. And this guy is still alive. In fact, he didn't do any damage. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Hmm. Let's just run away. I don't want to die just because of this stupid guy. He's way too dangerous and there is probably nothing that interesting in this armory. Oh, we have Tylon right here. Let's retreat for a bit. Wait for the skitter bot to come. And now let's wait for the Tylon to come. Let's put the safe mode on and wait. Okay, he's right here. Let's bait him to come near me. Mm, close this. Wait for a moment. Okay, he's here. Where are you going? Come to me. Let's do it in a different way. Go here. Stop running. Save mod on. How about now? Oh, now you are coming. Run. Here. Shoot. Retreat. Run. Here. Shoot. I was shot. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are still fine. Let's just put the bandage. Okay, he's down. Let's bandage our wounds. Okay, that was irresponsible of me. I won't do this again. Okay, something strange is happening. These slimes are overrunning everything. What the hell? Everything is exploding. What is happening? The slimes are everywhere. What the hell? Did you saw that? He just exploded. What is going on? Okay, we have another nanofabricator template. The Atomic Coffee Maker. I have one of those, so I don't think it will be that helpful, but let's take it anyway, why not? We explored 90 something percent of the science lab, we pretty much got to all the important final rooms. Okay guys, I transferred all the equipment from the lab to the car. It took quite a while, but I am done. The only thing that I didn't took is this medical mutagenic primer because I ran out of the grenades and there isn't any more zombie soldiers nearby to look for them. Other than that, I took pretty much everything with exception of some mutagenic barrels that I won't need anyway because it's way too much mutagen to take. The biggest find for today is definitely this face immersion suit. Of course, it's not the power armor, but it's pretty up there when it comes to armors you can find in the game. Other than that, we also found a bunch of mutagens, a bunch of CBMs. I won't be installing any CBMs for now because I want to work on my skills to minimize the chance of failure, but that will be done at a later date. We also found all the necessary equipment for making mutagens like medical book, alpha book. We have almost all of the equipment with exception of fractional distillation apparatus I think. We have bunch of guns, bunch of ammunition and we can start entering into the endgame. I hope you enjoyed, if you did please don't forget to leave a like, if you want to support me then please consider subscribing. This is Chris and I will see you next time.